The objective within this lesson is to solve two step word problems. George weeded one fifth of the garden, and Summer weeded some too. When they were finished, two thirds of the garden still needed to be weeded. What fraction of the garden did Summer weed? What do you see when you hear the story? What can you draw? What fraction of the garden did Summer weed? Is it a part or a whole? Right, it's a part. Do we know the whole? Yes, we do. What is it? Right, the whole is one. We can take a look at the garden. And the whole is one, right? And part of it George weeded. In fact, it was one fifth. Was George? Two thirds was left. And the other part of it was summer. That's the question mark for how much that summer we did. So we have one minus one fifth minus two thirds. That's equal to four fifths minus two thirds, which is how many fifteenths? Right, twelve fifteenths minus 10 fifteenths, which equals 2 fifteenths. Summer weeded two fifteenths of the garden. And write that out. Jing spent one third of her money on a pack of pens, one half of her money on a pack of markers, and one eighth of her money on a pack of pencils. What fraction of her money is left? Again, we can draw a fraction bar to go ahead and represent our problem. Draw a bar representing all of her money. Pens was one third. Markers was one half. And we also had one eighth for money on pencils. And then we have what is left. So we have one minus a third minus a half minus an eighth as our question. One minus a third is two thirds minus a half minus an eighth. Let's go to 20 fourths times 8 times 8. So that's 16 20 fourths minus 12 20 fourths minus 3 20 fourths. So I wrote equivalent fractions for 1 half and for 1 eighth. What's left then is 16 20 fourths minus 12 20 fourths, which is 4 20 fourths minus 3 20 fourths. So what's left is 1 24th. Jing has 1 24th of her money left. Shelby bought a 2 ounce tube of blue paint. She used 2 thirds ounce to paint the water, 3 fifths ounce to paint the sky, and some to paint a flag. 
After that, she had two fifteenths ounce left. How much paint does Shelby use to paint her flag? So here's the amount of paint that Shelby had. At the end, she had left over two fifteenths of an ounce. She used two thirds to paint the water. Three fifths to paint the sky. And some to paint the flag. So we can think about how much she used all together. She had two ounces of blue paint. Let's add those up. Two thirds plus three fifths plus two fifteenths, and we'll subtract that from the two, from two ounces. So we have two thirds, let's go to fifteenths, that's ten fifteenths, times three, times three, plus nine fifteenths, plus two fifteenths, that's twenty-one fifteenths. Two ounces is thirty fifteenths. So we get thirty fifteenths minus twenty one fifteenths equaling nine fifteenths is the amount she used to paint her flag. Shelby used nine fifteenths of an ounce to paint her flag. Jim sold three quarters gallons of lemonade. Dwight sold some lemonade too. Together they sold one and five twelfth gallons. Who sold more lemonade, Jim or Dwight? How much more? So all together, they sold one and five twelfth gallons. Jim sold three quarters of a gallon. White, we're not sure how much he sold, but we can figure it out. It would be one and five twelfths minus three fourths. We can subtract one minus three fourths first to get one fourth. So we have one fourth plus five twelfths times three times three. That's three twelfths plus five twelfths, which is eight twelfths. And I can simplify that. Divide by four, divide by four equals two thirds. So Dwight sold two thirds of a gallon of lemonade and if we look at three-fourths three-fourths is also we're comparing the two three-fourths times three times three is nine-twelfths Jim is also nine-twelfths Dwight is the equivalent of eight-twelfths so Jim sold more how much more nine-twelfths minus eight-twelfths one twelfth of a gallon more. Leonard spent one quarter of his money on a sandwich. He spent two times as much on a gift for his brother on some comic books. He had three eighths of his money left. What fraction of his money did he spend on the comic books? 
So let's draw a picture to represent the problem. One fourth of his money was on sandwich. One fourth also equals two eighths. He spent twice, two times as much on a gift for his brother as on some comics books. So he has a gift for his brother. Where he spent two times as much for the gift for his brother than on some comic books. So those are the same amount. He had three-eighths of his money left. Let's see if this works out. Two-eighths, three-eighths, four-eighths, five-eighths, six-eighths, seven-eighths, eight-eighths. On the gift, he spent two-eighths, so he spent a quarter on the gifts, and on the comic books, he only spent an eighth. One minus seven-eighths equaling one-eighth. 